Ladies and gents, welcome back. This is JM Cad, and my name is Joe McGovern. We're doing more 3D models here. So hone your skills, sharpen your blade, and let's get going. I'll see you out there. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to another 3D AutoCAD 2022 video. In this one, we are creating a 3D faucet. This 3D faucet can be used in a kitchen render similar to the design of a kitchen that I did about a year ago. I will link that up top if you want to see that series. All right, so in order to create this 3D faucet, you can see that there is a sweep of a polyline. There is a loft of two circles. This is just a regular extrude. We've got some fillet edges. We've got more extrudes, and we've got another loft on this handle. This is also a loft on the nozzle head from a smaller circle to a bigger circle. So one of the big challenges we're going to have to face here is how are we going to draw a circle on a side that is not the front, top, right, left, bottom, or back? That's going to be with the UCS coordinate system, which we'll talk about later. So for now, switch to the top view, switch back to 2D wireframe, and let's jump over here somewhere, and we will draw with a polyline 10 to the right, 2.5 down, 10 to the left, and close. Now, the reason why I'm using a polyline, polyline's nice because it's already a closed shape and it's something that you can already extrude. You don't have to join it. But what's also nice about it is when I select it, if I hover over the midpoints without clicking, you'll get a little box that pops up and you can select convert to arc. I'm going to stay on the green line and do one inch out on this convert to arc. Convert to arc on the left side, go out, one, enter. Now I'm going to convert to arc these parts. Convert to arc, go up on the green line, and we're going to go 0.25. And we'll do the same thing going down. Convert to arc, 0.25. And we get something like this, which is like the base of our faucet. All right, next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to take a regular line, and I'm going to put this down the midpoint of the shape that we just created. That way I can create a circle at the center, which is a diameter of 1.5. Deleting my initial line, I'm going to switch to my 3D Southeast ISO view. And then taking this base, we can extrude that down, negative one fourth. We can now do a fillet edge radius one eighth around the outside. There are four that you want to click total. Enter twice. This one is going to get extruded up to enter. You're also going to draw another circle that is the same size. So if I go out here and I do a diameter of 1.5, I get the same size circle right on top of my cylinder that I just created. Now you could use the primitive tools, which is like the cylinder here, but I just don't really bother with those shapes. I just like to create everything by hand. All right, next thing you're going to do is you're going to draw another circle and you're going to do a diameter of one. And I'm going to move this circle up 1.5 inches. Now I can select both circles with a blue box. I can do loft and hit enter twice. So now if we check this out, I'm at this point right here. Next thing I'm going to do is go back to 2D wireframe and I'm going to draw another circle at this center point, which is a diameter one. So it's the same size again. And then I'm going to go to the left side in order to create my 3D path. Using a polyline tool and clicking at the center point, I'm going to go up. 10, enter. I'm going to go to the right, 6. And then I'm going to go down, 3. Now, same idea here. I'm going to take the top of this, and I'm going to do a convert to arc, and we're going to go up 2 inches. I'll also take this line and slide that out by 1 inch. I don't really like how rough this looks, so we're going to do a regular fillet radius of 2. And we're just going to click between these two in order to clean that up. I do need to explode this for a second because I want this one to be a loft between two circles. I don't want it to be part of the sweep that I'm doing. So I wanted to pull that apart. Now I'm going to click these two and join those together. That way the sweep can happen in one motion. Going back to a 3D view, resetting my view back to top and hitting the bottom right corner you will see that I still have my circle back here and I'm gonna do a sweep. And the way sweep works is you click what you wanna sweep and hit enter and then click what you wanna sweep it along. And it sweeps it along that path and creates your 3D sweep. 
Now comes that part that I was talking about in the beginning where we have to decide how we are going to draw on an angled surface. So normally when we're drawing, everything is set up with the top, right, left, bottom, back. And in this instance, we have something that is on an angle. All right, so the next thing I'm gonna do here is I'm gonna orbit up so I can see that surface that I wanna draw on. And I'm gonna type UCS and I'm gonna do face. And what that is, is if you click the sweep and then you click the face that you wanna draw it on and hit enter twice, that'll actually put the grid even with that surface, as you can see in this orbit. So that allows me to draw my circle on that face in the correct direction. My circle is gonna be a diameter of 1.25. Now at the end of this line, I'm gonna do a diameter of 1.75. And now I have my two circles. I can loft between the two, one, two, enter twice. Don't forget there's a red line back there that we didn't use for a sweep. So the way to get that would probably be to go back to 2D wireframe and then just click in the middle here and get that line out of there. And now we are at this point right here. Now, one more thing I wanna do here is make it look like there's a little nozzle at the end. So I'm gonna click on this center point. I'm gonna draw on this face diameter 1.25 and I get something like this. So back to 2D wireframe, this circle can be extruded one fourth. And if I reset my view, you'll see what that looks like. You'll see it kind of sticks out a little bit like the actual faucet end. All right, so the next part's gonna be the stem that comes out and the handle that goes up. What I'm gonna do is change to the front view. I'm gonna orbit a little bit. I'm gonna draw a line going up from the center. This extrusion here was two, so we're gonna go one. All right, so the next thing we're gonna do is we're gonna change to the right side. We're gonna orbit down a little bit. And we're gonna draw a circle at this end point here that is a diameter of one. Get rid of the line. So go ahead and extrude this one two inches. Then I'm gonna draw a circle on this face. And if the bigger one was a diameter of one, I'm gonna do a diameter of 0.75. That one can be extruded by one fourth. And then the next one is going to be at this center and that's gonna be the same size as the original one, which was a diameter one. That one can be extruded one inch. Now, last part, the handle is a loft, but we gotta get the initial circle, which I'm also gonna put in the center again. So if I go back over here, I'm still in my right view. I haven't changed anything yet. So I'm gonna take this and I'm gonna go in by 0.5 inches, and then I'm gonna to change to my top, bottom right corner, and zoom in a little bit and I'm gonna draw my circle right here. This one is gonna be a diameter of 0.125, 1 8 I'll draw another circle at the same center, which has a diameter of 0.25. I'll move this one up, let's say 1.5 inches, and then I will take a loft, and I'll loft between that and that, enter twice, get rid of the line. Let's see what that looks like. Not bad. And that's it. So listen, guys, I appreciate you guys watching. If you enjoyed this video at all, if you learned any new methods or ideas, anything that you didn't know before, or if you just want to leave a thumbs up because you're being nice, please give the video a thumbs up, subscribe to the channel, turn on the bell if you want to see future notifications of future videos. So listen, I really appreciate you guys watching, and I will see you in the next one. Later.